Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. This video, we're going to be talking about how to override the equals method. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So what you can do is you can right click and click source. And by the way, I'm inside of my user class, the class I built myself. And in here you can click generate hash code and equals. Go ahead and check first name, last name, and generate. And wowzers, we get a lot of stuff here. So this is a really thorough comparison of these objects and it's gonna compare them by value. So what that means is in our calling program, what we can do is we can compare these objects now. So we can say me dot equals run this. We're getting false here. That's because our names are not exactly the same. So we'll change your name to my name. I'm not gonna change my name to your name. Are you crazy? So we're able to compare these objects at the field level. It's pretty awesome. So now, I'm you, and you're me. Hold up, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 stop. Stop, this doesn't make sense. Hold up. Wait, who are you? I am you. I am me. No, sir, you are you. All right, so taking a look at our class, you can go through this code to see how exactly it works. I probably would have done a much more thin version where we just compared the values of first name, last name, and if they're equal, then we would return true, otherwise return false. But this is much more thorough, checking for nulls and so forth. So anytime you can generate something from e Eclipse, definitely do that. Um, we also have this hash code thing, and the hash code thing is used to put the objects in a hash table. It goes through a hash code method, which will basically turn your object into a number. So if two objects are equal, they should in theory have the same hash code. So going in here, we can say, me dot hash code is equal to you dot hash code and it's true all our hash codes are equal thank you guys for watching be sure to check out the next video and we're going to be talking about um i think some more overloading stuff so stay tuned